Kevin, obviously tight game going into halftime, then you have a big third quarter and you guys kind of get separation. What was the difference to you in the second half? Uh, we just stayed the course. I mean, I felt like um, we got good looks in the first half. Um, we, we did a decent job getting stops, but I think we ratcheted the defense up in the third quarter. And um, along with, you know, our offense going to another level, you know, 24 points is pretty ideal for a quarter, especially with, you know, one of the best offensive teams in the league. I think we did a solid job on the defensive side in that third. And, you know, I seen the opening there, and I just tried to finish my shots. And you, you seem to be more riled up than usual, the way you were egging on the crowd and everything. I mean, just what, what was behind that tonight? I mean, y'all say that every game. It's probably, it's, it's probably just who I am at this point. You know what I mean? I mean, always riled up. I like playing. You know, I, like, I enjoy the competition that's out there. It's one of the best teams in the league. Got some, uh, some great players on his team, you know, so... They bring the best out of you, you know. I just try to be there for my guys and, you know, feed off the crowd. And I want the crowd to feed off me as well. Have you only been doing this recently? Or that goes way back? That's, yeah, I just started seeing it. People may be just focusing on me a little bit more lately, I guess. Kevin, do you, do you enjoy when opposing defenders trash talk you or people on the opposing bench trash talk? Does that give you, give you fuel? Uh... Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's fun. I mean, I think that's just a part of the game. I think that's um, that's the true essence of the game. Is that dialogue that goes on around the court? We all seen it and playing in the black tops and in the, in the high school gyms. It's like that. That conversation around the court is always fun and is always positive. I mean, it's just always a good vibe, you know. So sometimes I like to indulge in that while I'm playing. And second, just what does it mean to you when? you're on the bench and your team outscores the Jazz in those minutes that you're resting. It's just amazing, you know. Every player loves that. When you're on the bench and your, and your guys are just turning up like that. I mean, Patty came and hit some huge shots. I'm so proud of Blake and how he's just a consummate pro. I haven't played damn near the whole month. Come out, hit, you know, nine points, four rebounds. I mean, just did everything for us in his minutes. And, you know, so just happy that we got guys on this team that stay ready and, um, uh, and, and want to go out there and, and destroy opponents. I know if we get up 10 or 12, you know you're looking for Patty to try to shoot a three to take it up a notch, so I appreciate that. Kevin, you guys obviously have Memphis coming up in a couple of days. When you watch Jaws' game, does he remind you of anybody you've seen through the years? He's a, com he's a combination of players, um, I feel. Um, I, I think the greatest players in our game can transform into anybody at any given point. And I think Jaws on the way to that. I mean, I see, like, when he's playing, I see, like, two or three, four different Hall of Famers in this game, you know, from Iverson to he might make a Jordan-like layup or he might run down the court like a Westbrook or D. Rose. And, you know, his float game is up there with some of the best that's ever played. You know, so he's just a... I, I, you know, I don't want to gas him up too much since we're playing against him, but I think the sky's the limit for him. His future is obviously bright, and, you know, he makes uh, everybody better playing against him, um, even opponents. So um, it's about the level you approach that game with, and I'm looking forward to it.